Welcome back to the channel guys. Huge day. Ethereum, we hit $2,000 for its second time in its history and the first time since the all time high. So today we're going to reflect on our time frames, what we're looking for here in terms of our trade and of course price structure. So if you love the sound of that, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below, bell notification icon, like the video up, easy, free, cheap, a very helpful way to pushing the content through the YouTube algorithm. One last thing, the giveaway ends on the 5th of April. So I'm giving away three free 12 month memberships to the course. Make sure you click the link down below, put your email address in. That's all you have to do to enter your chance to win one of three 12 month memberships to learning how to trade and invest. All right guys, Ethereum, this post is about nearly four weeks old now. It says three here, but looking at the chart here, I know this is uh, at the early stage of March. So this is what we've been following for the last four weeks. 24 weeks up, 11 weeks from the bottom to the top, basically from that high, which is in September or late August, to the breakout, 11 weeks to breakout, 23 weeks from a low to a high. It's a major low to a major high. We're looking and uh, trying to figure out macro timeframes here to identify times in the market where we should expect some sort of movement, some sort of breakout. Then the next thing I had written here is, what do you know? What do we think here? Five to 11 weeks of sideways until we break the all time high. Now, of course, yeah, we haven't broken the all time high just yet, but we're within this ballpark range now. We're within the five to 11 weeks. We're on six weeks beneath the old all time high. Well, the most recent all time high of around $2,100. We'll check it in a sec. So all we're do doing here is identifying patterns in time frames. When people are asking, what do you think the price is going to be at the end of April, at the end of June, at the end of December, those sort of things are basically meaningless. Just stop wasting your time asking those sort of things. If you want to understand time frames, do this sort of work. It's the same thing as just measuring prices. So we're just measuring time frames. The reason that this is so effective is that humans are in the market. Humans basically make up the market. You could say that there are bots and there are computers and algorithms, all this sort of stuff trading, but a human has had to program that. And basically all of that data comes out in the chart. And so at those times in the market, this is when we get major swings. This is the heartbeat for Ethereum at the moment. And this heartbeat can change over time. It can speed up or slow down just as if Ethereum was going through a workout or it was resting. And I'll show you that in tomorrow's video. I've got a video coming up over the next couple of days over Easter while I'm away. I'll film those. I've been working on uh, Cardano as well in the same format as this. So I'll present that to you guys over the next couple of days. And I've also got altcoins in April. We've covered a few of those already on the channel, but I'm going to do updates so that we're not continuously adding in more and more cryptos. We have a lot to cover and that's going to be another video that I've got coming up for you guys. So altcoins for April, these things are about to surge, if not getting set up. So back to Ethereum, those altcoins are going to be, some of them are going to be layer two stuff because Ethereum looks like it is getting set up to break out. So I wanted to cover this chart again to explain it for the guys who don't remember it. It is about four weeks ago. We've had quite a few people join the channel since then. We've broken 100,000 subscribers, 105. The other thing to note here is the drops. So these red arrows, these major drops are on high volume. So that's a good sign to buy in. So that's the buy the dip sign, not the stuff that continues to drop away, you know, one, two, five percent. These are the sort of days that you really want to buy the dip. These are the weeks that are just crashing the market, huge volume. The next week is the signal that shows that there is no more momentum pushing the market down. That's a really good sign. It's a very strong, healthy sign. So. Moving across to the chart, this is where we are currently. We are at $1,993, but we just hit $2,007. $2,007, the old all-time high was $2,041. So I, I said earlier around $2,100, it was only $2,041. I'm on Coinbase here, one of the most high volume exchanges. So this is what was on the chart earlier. 25 weeks up, I think I had here 24, so I must have missed a week. But essentially, that's the approximate time frames that we're looking for, 25 weeks. You can see this repeating again. I went in and did a little more detail with it. And 23 weeks was the top to the initial breakout here. So if we throw it on a weekly, 23 weeks, that's the time frame, top to the breakout. 
Then I've got 20. Oh, this is even earlier. Sorry, guys. This goes all the way back. Look at that. This goes all the way back to 2016. <laughs> 2016, Ethereum is still putting in these time frames. 25 weeks up, 23 weeks to break. What do we just see? 23 weeks to break. And then as the market speeds up into a bull market, it becomes shorter and shorter. So it's about half the time. There's a 50%. You know, we look, uh, we look at 50% on the FIB extension tools. And that happens the same in time frames. And you can use a tool uh, in the side here, FIB time zones. And this will do it for you. You just measure across and there's the top. And then you can almost see the pattern repeating as well. Now, this one here, you can change the, the style of it. You can change the figures that are in the side here, coordinates. Uh, this is the one that you really want. This is what will show you uh, where the bars end up vertically. And so if I want them all at the same amount, so I've got say 25 weeks, then I'll just go through and change these over to be 25 and that will that will continue to change each of the bars. So we'll, we won't play around with that for now. Essentially, this is just showing the repeat of the 25 weeks, the 23 weeks, the 26 weeks, and then we've got another 28 weeks here. You're gonna say, what about this area here? I'll go through and do that in a little more detail, but that's a different market. Like I said, these things change. These 25, 23, 28, this six month period works very well in bull markets. You can see this is a bull market. This is a bull market. How many times are we gonna get that in this bull market? Maybe one more, I don't know. But for now, uh, the previous bull market, which was 2017, throughout the entire 2017, that, was, that only happened twice on Ethereum. It did once, it went sideways, and then it did it again. So we'll cover that in more detail in future videos because we wanna just check where would, actually let's cover it now. Where would six months get us from the bottom? So if I'm gonna measure this point here, this is what I'm talking about. So the 2017 bull market, the low was in July and the high was in January of 2018. We just call it a 2017 bull market because the entirety of 2018 was basically down. And so measuring from the low to the high, that's 26 weeks. So now we're measuring six months from the low that we just had, the 22nd of Feb, and we measure across 26 bars. So approximately here, give or take a few bars, of course. That brings us into mid to late August. So that's gonna be a time frame that we should probably keep an eye on. So with that in mind, cross use this vertical line here i'll star that and then we just set that up here at around the 23rd of august so we'll keep an eye on that as a potential turning point now i'm not saying the market has to end there but if we use history from what the chart the ethereum chart is showing us then we have to be aware of six month turning points on Ethereum, especially in a bull market. For a bear market, we'll work those out later in future videos. But for now, I want to do a quick video, give you an update of Ethereum, timeframes that we're searching for from this point. Remember that we could split these in half as well. So if that's 26 weeks, let's split this in half. We got to keep an eye on all of these things. So 13 weeks gets us to around the 17th of May. Don't worry, I'm not saying this is the all time high, I'm saying maybe we'll see a turning point, but I wanna keep an eye on that, okay? So that's where we are now. This is the the price range that I've been tracking uh, out of the, the major low here before we took off into the $2,000 top. And then using our fibs, the next price targets I'm looking at is $3,000 ETH and 3,500. So it's this range projected from this top that's 100% takes us to 3,526 and 161% takes us to $2,960. So they're pretty good targets to look at. That's what I'll have, uh, That's well, I mean, that's what I'm looking at now. What does that look like in terms of a percentage from our current price level of bang on 2,000? Getting us to 3,000 is about a 47% increase. So it's nothing huge. But if you were just on this a few days ago, like we've been talking about for the last few weeks and not selling it, like many other people I've seen online talking about selling ETH, then that could get you to around a 76%. And if we get to this 100% of $3,500 ETH, which I think we will, then there's your 100, 110% return. All right, so you're getting in at this point at 2,000 or slightly under, that's your 80% return to the $3,500 level. I wanna do one more price extension on Ethereum. So let's put it on logs so that we can see this thing. 
And I'm going to use one of our other favorite tools that is this one here. So that's called the trend based fib extension from the low to the high and then project it from the major low. And I'm just looking for 100% and 150% of this range to see if we're going to extend our ranges or we're going to contract. So 100%. Now this gets a little bit tricky to, to watch in here. So just looking for this. So that's call it 2800 is 100%. And I, we do know that the markets tend to extend a little bit. So 125%, we're just measuring this range from the low, 125, 31, 62, and 150% pretty much gets us out to the exact double of that other range. So that's a nice price cluster. That's what I wanna to see to pick a target. So $3,500 ETH, that's, that's how I got to 3,500. That is going to be somewhere in my title. $3,500 ETH, that's looking good. That's an extension of our current range, so that could be the first turning point. After that, maybe a little pullback, and then we head on again. But that's looking very good. Of course, we'll have some sort of, we'll probably have some sort of push at around three thousand dollars because there's another psychological level, and people will be getting worried. The whole deal. But this is looking very good. Three thousand dollars, three and a half thousand dollars. That's where I got my target set. For me, Ethereum has been one of the safest cryptos to be investing in throughout this entire bull market, which is why I was purchasing ETH all the way all the way back down here, just showing it off now. But you can see that on my Instagram. So go follow Instagram. I post my day uh, post daily there for my retirement fund. So I put all of my retirement fund into cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yes, it is my retirement fund and I want to hold it there because I can't touch it until I'm 65 or 67, whatever the laws are here in Australia. And so I'm looking for the safest cryptocurrencies because I see the biggest gains from them. Currently, it was around $260,000 uh, yesterday. I think it'll be a little bit more now because Ethereum has just hit 2000 and Bitcoin just touched $60,000 as well while I was uh, doing some more analysis. So we are up big today looking at all beautiful round numbers. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember the giveaway, there's five or three more days to go. So click the link in the description down below. Your chance to win one of three 12 month memberships. So get onto that. All you have to do is enter your email address. That's it. If you happen to purchase the course and you've entered the draw, we will refund you. So don't worry, you can buy it now if you want to get locked in for the cheaper price. If you win, you'll get refunded. So Enjoy that. I'll see you guys over in the course or on the next video or on Twitter as well. So be sure to check us out on Twitter. I'm posting there daily with some more charts and updates. Like the video if you found some value from this. We're going to keep tracking it to our $3,500 target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Bell notification icon. Until then, have a great Easter. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe another video today. We'll figure it out in the coming hours. But until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out, guys.